guys, uh, Louis here. This is a special episode. Welcome back to Acorn Hill today. It's a special unboxing episode of Acorn Hill because this has been 40 years in the making. Today, I will be revealing and unboxing a freshly delivered, fresh out of the box, Volt in box Voltus 5. And I wanted to share with you guys how it looks like. Literally from the time that I got this from the doorstep so that all of us will have that first time unboxing experience. I requested the seller to uh, really wrap it carefully so that I could get not only the outer box intact, but also the brown box um, that the uh, robot comes in. So without further ado, there's the uh, corrugated box itself and there's the uh, original packing material. This was delivered to us by FedEx. And this entire box uh, weighed 15 and a half pounds uh, when I weighed it on our weighing scale. And that's a good size box. This is that brown original corrugated box. Stick it out of this get a good grip over here so we can slide it out of the box. And there it is, Volt in Box, Voltus 5, collectible robot. And uh, this is pretty exciting, I'm trying to hold my excitement here and try to be coordinated in removing this out of the original packaging. And there we go. So let's do that yet again. For the depth of the box here to here, this will be a total of nine and a quarter inches deep for that dimension. And for the, uh, this would be the height of the box. That is 18 and three eighths from that corner up to this bottom portion. And for the total width of it, it will be a total of 24 and a half wide. So now it's time for us to reveal what's on the inside. And so we're gonna open it up. There's that original tissue paper. And here we go. There's the original box, the colorful box that it came in with the tissue paper. Carefully slide it out. Hang on, let me see if I can do this more coordinatedly and remove the flaps, corrugated, the brown corrugated box. It was delivered from Japan. It went through, traveled several time zones, had gone through a couple of an exit point and an entry point from Japan and into the United States. So let's carefully remove the tissue paper. This tissue paper also will protect any scratches. The print on it, very vibrant, very clear, but the quality of paper for the corrugated box for the robot is glossy. And I'm very, very careful not to scratch it at this point. And there it is, guys. Whoa, check that thing out. Let's all have a moment of silence right now just to look at what we are seeing. I like it, I like that there's, uh, uh, on this one section, you have all the different poses that Voltus 5 can do, uh, different poses pertaining to whenever he launches any of his weapons. Uh, there's that front ready for battle uh, type stance that Voltus 5 is assuming. You, we can see without opening the box yet that there are now better articulations right at the ankle by the foot area of the robot. The hips can now be abducted, it can now be moved to the side, toward the side, bringing his base a whole lot wider. Um, the one thing that I like about this is there's now more articulations on the joints for every single finger, every single digit that the robot has. Uh, elbows are now very, very much well articulated. I think that when we really delve into opening the box and playing around with the robot, that we will discover more articulations and movements happening at the shoulder. You know, I, I can appreciate that as a physical therapist. I'm very, very happy with that. Now, moving over to this side of the box. Guys, bear with me, because I told you I'm gonna do a comprehensive review on this. So I'm looking at every single item 
every single aspect of what we're seeing. But over here, this is one of the reasons why I got this robot because now it has that base, a wide base. We will measure that as we open the box. But now you've got the base and you've got this electromagnetic V that we all see on the cartoon uh, whenever he starts posing and whenever he starts preparing for his laser sword. And that is neat. And I like that it's a little bit more uh, two, three dimensional now um, with all those electromagnetic uh, uh, radiations coming off and surrounding the V itself. So for a collector and for one who's really admired and glued to this robot for a while, I think that's a great addition uh, uh, to getting for anyone's collection. Over here, this is what I'm excited about albeit it's just the stand without the enclosure of it, but Camp Big Falcon is now clearly showcased, if you will, and there are now stands, individual stands and individual ledges where we can put the spaceships when they are not assembled into a robot. So that side of the box is, is how it looks at the moment. Uh, we still have the uh, unopened, you know it's a fresh unopened box because there's still those tapes, those circular tapes um, and, and you know, a couple of scotch tapes that will protect these flaps because the, the paper, we got to be very careful because he, I, I as a collector don't want anything tearing and anything kind of getting damaged in, on the way to opening uh, the package. So that's on this flat side, we'll flip it over and I'll show you what's on the opposite side. Not that, but this. And on this side, you see the bold, wow. All I can say right now is wow. I had a moment of silence there again, but all you can see is this big bold letters of vault inbox. Uh, from a marketing perspective, it's, it's a good uh, a printout very clear it pops up and it attracts uh, any maniac like me looking to collect uh, a robot such as this um, I don't know if these are the actual sizes I, I guess not the actual sizes of the spaceships but they're clearly marked clearly displayed um, with the Jeff Voltus 5 logo um, and it's great that now we have the individual names for each spaceship uh, clearly printed right beside them as well. The colors are good for for a box this size. I think that the resolution of the box and the printout is great. It's clear, it's in your face, and that's the way I like my collector box to come in. And there he is. Robot, not with the legs abducted or separated along the feet area but they are pretty much hip width uh, standing with the wide base now that we're looking at the robot uh, um, uh, from this angle I think that you we can clearly see at least from the print the dimensions and the proportions of the robot Voltus 5 does not come with the neck uh, part uh, it's the head coming from this spaceship that is converted and it sits right on top of the torso and the dimensions of the wide shoulders, the, the football uh, bodybuilder type shoulders that the robot has is directly proportional and I think uh, well measured as it comes to a V right by his hip area and, and the robot from the head to the torso uh, is proportion. I am liking as well that he's got hefty arms, the biceps and, and his forearms are hefty enough that they, again, if you put a, an imaginary line in the middle, this thing is all well proportioned, uh, including the size of his uh, fist. You know, when they're in an enclosed, a closed fist position, you can see that there's a good proportion to it. Legs are well built and uh, well proportioned as well. The length, the torso leg uh, length relationship is very good. I'm, I'm liking the way it looks at the moment. Um, even the kneecaps are, are well colored and 
well placed where, where they need to be. So this is that side. I guess this is the advert, the advert, advertisement side of the box where you can see the robot, you can see the individual spaceships, the big bold sign. Um, also comes with uh, the Japanese Voltus 5 sign. Now, we go and flip this. So the exciting thing, I hope you can see this. The exciting thing about the robot, it can be put into a, a almost like a, a tractor, a, a truck uh, style uh, assembly. And, and this is one of those that I'm looking forward to putting together as, as, as we go along. Uh, this will be a series. And as we go along with demonstrating and putting together this robot, this is that figure that I want to put the robot in uh, one of these days. Down below this figure is that figure. Now check that out. Oh, it's, it's a good profile picture of uh, Camp Big Falcon, the ledges where you have the spaceships at. And you know, it's kind of like a dramatic shot because it's got the lighting uh, factor to it with the shot and, and you get to see what it looks like when the shot is taken from the bottom right uh, of the platform uh, where Camp Big Falcon is arranged at. But there he is in his full glory showing off the electromagnetic V about ready to uh, prepare taking out his laser sword coming off of his chest through the M uh, uh, logo and uh, impression right on top of his chest. So. Uh, really good looking so far, uh, robust. Um, you can really see the strength of the robot just from this position alone. And so it's exciting because now we can really position it uh, based on how the original sketches were uh, in, in the cartoons. And, and that's the beauty of playing with a robot, I guess, is now you can really uh, get that three-dimensional feel uh, of what you're watching, you know, from childhood and now it's it's right in front of you. Show you guys the bottom of the box. Now gives us the full lineup of the contents of the box. There are five spaceships and, and that's the main feature of, of this product. But over here, you get the Bolt Cruiser. And on another vlog, I'll, I'll discuss them one by one with you. This is the bomber. Cruiser is the head part of the robot. This is the control center. Everything happens in the cartoon. Everything happens here, controlled by uh, Steve Armstrong, the pilot. This is the shoulder part, the shoulder girdle and the arm part, including the fists and, and the wrists and the hands, where Mark Gordon, the uh, pilot for number two spaceship, the Volt Bomber um, spaceship, uh, is controlled by. And the, the third, one of the more robust and heavier and bigger parts of this robot is the Panzer. And Panzer makes up the torso uh, section of, of the robot. It's appropriately flown by Big Bird. And Big Bird is the brother of the first pilot, uh, uh, Steve Armstrong. So he is also robust and, and rotund in appearance. And I guess it's... It's meant to be that they did that on the storyline of, of the cartoon and he's the one piloting the spaceship. Moving along the lineup and that's the Frygate and this would be the legs um, attaching to the hip part of the robot and this is piloted by the little brother of Steve and Big Bird and he is appropriately called Little John. He's the one that controls the spaceship that corresponds to the legs of the robot. I think this is my most favorite uh, piece out of the five for the lineup is the Volt Lander, which makes up the foot part of um, the robot. Both feet are controlled and flown by uh, the pilot, a woman pilot, which is uh, at that time in the 70s, I think that that's pretty progressive. They're featuring a woman uh, with good martial arts skills control um, a, a big spaceship and, and I think that's a celebration early on even when we were young that women can do uh, uh, men's work and men's job and that is flown by Jamie Robinson. 
And so as we go along with our series of reviews, putting together and showcasing the robot, you guys will understand and get to know the unique characters uh, of, of the cast members and everything that they do, their talents, what they add to the, the dynamicism of this robot and the series. The Mechanical Eagle, and uh, that Mechanical Eagle was shown toward the uh, latter part of the series, uh, an unexpected twist as to who was flying the Mechanical Eagle, and I'll showcase that in its full detail uh, when the time is right. They also added in, in the box, uh, among the collectibles, a spaceship. This is a Bozanian spaceship, which is the antagonist uh, uh, cast of, uh, of the series. And so um, those that the robot Boltus 5 was uh, um, battling against, uh, they're called the Bozanian Empire, uh, an army spaceships. And this is one of those generic spaceships that they use to combat uh, Boltus 5. Uh, they've included that in the box as well. Without further ado, I think it's time, guys, that we open this baby up. Here we go. Oh, by the way, clear, bold letters um, spelling out Volt in box with a Volt machine inside. It has its own plastic carrier, 15.2 pounds. This pretty much can hold that. And um, again, the plastic uh, is rigid, tough enough, um, along with the uh, glossy corrugated um, cardboard box that it comes. Pardon me for holding you guys up too long. It is now time. It is part of that video of the vlog that we now will devote to opening the box. And I'm gonna be very careful in prying. I'm using one of my Buffalo Horn letter opener. Got a pointy edge to it that I could that I could use to slice and stick that right on the edge of the corrugation, giving it a clean cut. This, by the way, is blunt. Um, it is pointed, but it's blunt at the tip, and this doesn't have any razor uh, a blade. Uh, edge to it that way we don't scratch this up and we don't destroy the collectible and, uh, I guess in one of my videos I'll show you the tools that we could all use um, in prying them and opening them and playing around with them so we don't scratch them up and reduce the value Gotta be very careful because if you pull this up too quickly it, it, there's a chance that you would rip the box over on that side the underside of the box is black you can see the corrugation on it, nice and hefty. Um, we're gonna open this up again, this way. Gonna lay it down. Gonna lay this baby down. It's the first time I'm opening it, guys. Look at that. Whoa. Let's all admire what's on the inside of it. Whoa, check it out. There's this plastic protective molded plastic protector right on top. Uh, I'm liking this and protects every single opening um, for where they're all located, the different parts of it. So now let's talk about let's talk about what, what you guys see. Um, you know the camera is right on top of us. And so as I look at it, um, I'm seeing the head of Voltus 5, the shoulder is over here, there's the torso uh, spaceship, here's Little John's spaceship, there is a piece of paper that course, the, the, that's placed on top of the styrofoam, the polystyrene um, uh, uh, protector to it, and this has uh, Japanese characters on it, but we get to see, at least we get to see the, uh, the names of the spaceship. So there's the Volt Cruiser, the Volt Bomber, which is the shoulder girdle and the arm, uh, the uh, upper extremity part of the robot, the, 
the torso part which is the Volt Panzer, Volt Frigate which is the legs of the robot and this is the Volt Lander and Volt Lander would be the, um, the ankle and, and the foot part of the robot. There's the Mechanical Eagle. Here we go. There's the Mechanical Eagle. There's the Laser Sword. If there is one weapon that this uh, robot has that everybody looks forward to toward the end, it's the Laser Sword right over here. Um, I like how it's mirror silver is what they have uh, when they painted that on. Uh, let me move it just a little bit near so you can see it clearly on the camera. Look at this. Let me remove the paper. Now these little uh, set of pilots in their individual spaceships that would go into the individual uh, spaceships. They've made sure that every single pilot now is represented by these little ones. Okay, I am I am getting overloaded here with everything that I see. This is the individually wrapped also and lined with the plastic. This would be the Bozanian spaceship that I showed you guys and told you guys about from the packaging on the outside of the box. I, I really like the design of it. I've always admired that empire. I've always admired not only their looks, but the characters of each one, the personalities of each of the Bosanian Empire. Look at that spaceship, huh? The color itself also, I mean, well thought out, uh, very thoughtfully executed. Um, I like the design and the design has more detail now um, and the quality of the plastic that they use is, is very good to, uh, and, and even to hold. Oh, look at this. So you can take this out because this, styrofoam holds that's the holder of the spaceship whoa there's there's really a lot to take in uh looking at this box and wait a minute i think it goes this way it's it's just it's awesome <laughs> it's awesome to look at it's awesome to have let me oh look at this this is the head of camp big falcon now I have been looking for the perfect Camp Big Falcon that I will start um, building and I will start adding to my collection, but that right there, just the face, the profile of the Falcon with the eye, with the beak, that blue, that color blue, and that uh, hue or, or tint of red is striking. And it's not set off by an extremely white, like this white uh, background. It's almost like eggshell in color. And so when, when you combine that eggshell white with that fluorescent hazy blue and that certain red that they used uh, for this figure, I, I think it's striking, it's commanding. It gives a lot of um, presence when you have this and picture this right on top, right on top of a platform, this is Command Central. This is headquarters for Voltus 5 and I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking the way it looks. I'm liking the way it feels. Um, it's awesome. It's just great. You know, this, this whole uh, a set so far, I'm very, very happy with. These are the parts that we all have to be very, very careful of. Uh, not that they're fragile but you know these details if if you accidentally knock it somewhere then that, that there's a danger of them chipping off we don't want to break off a well-made collectible such as this but guys just be careful about how you handle um how you handle your spaceship your voltus 5 and all the other accessories that come with it look at that look at the detail on that ask me 40 years ago when i was seven years old and I would immediately be able to, I'd be able to identify what this thing is. But hey, right now, I'm just soaking everything in. You know, I'm just enjoying what I'm seeing. Um, like I promised, when we do our more comprehensive and more detailed talk about what they are and, and, and what they do, then we will relate that to uh, the cartoon and, and what it's done for 
to give more personality to the character that is Bold is Right. And among all the robots in the 1970s that came out, I think Voltus 5 is the king of all robots. He's worthy of any collector's wanting. He is worthy of any collector's uh, uh, just admiration and, and, and really going through the lengths of, of owning this robot. Really happy. The, the seven year old kid in me is jumping up and down and, and uh, shouting up a storm because I finally have it. I finally have Voltus 5. Um, let's, let's take a look at, at the laser sword. Um, the laser sword is very, very unique. Now, this is just the first layer when you open the package. And before we get to the other layer, I wanted to show you this. Check this out. Not only do we get boatload of this, we get a collectible manual. There it is. Bolt machine. Look at that, guys. Hang on a minute. Oh my goodness, look at that. Colors are great. The new design and the new illustration um, is a whole lot more colorful. The resolution is a whole lot more. Uh, it pops up, it's clearer. We can really see the characters. I wish I could read Japanese characters, but they're in original Japanese form um, for the texts. And so that's what we see. These are the pilots. That would be Steve, Mark, Big Bert, Little John, and Jamie. Here is the robot assuming all the battle positions and the battle postures that he has. That's how he holds, that's how he holds the sword. That sword is, again, well proportioned by length compared to the height in, in, in this battle position that uh, Boltus 5 is in. You can really see the beauty of, of the design. It's well thought out. It's yeah, just thoughtfully calculated the way they've designed um, the sword uh, in relation to the body. There's a Camp Big Falcon. You can stick the electromagnetic V um, either behind the Falcon or you can also put that on, on along the front. Oh, look at this. This is like going back to the history of Voltus 5, the very first Voltus 5 that came out, which was made of die cast, the blueprint um, feature of each uh, spaceship. And here's how we would be assembling each part of the robot. But when we do the review, we'll see how much how much more feature. So we're, we're gonna review all of that. It's a nice booklet because we have a lot of pages to it. Uh, high resolution pages. There's Camp Big Falcon itself with, I can't get over these ledges. Uh, a piece that would showcase all the, the collectible robots on that ledge. Whoa, check it out. So happy with this. Oh, now this is really exciting, guys, because the mechanical eagle can now be lodged and can now be held right behind Voltus 5. Great. I'm glad that they also made this in this shade of red with that distinctive turquoise uh, type blue that's right there on top of on top of the eagle. Whoa really really liking this and look at that that beautiful beautifully printed uh manual if you will is total 35 36 pages total and we have a lot of material another collectible item a good addition to uh the setup of this box so along the edges that you can easily lift it off Another plastic, molded plastic protector that holds, my goodness, I don't know how many parts, how many, uh, uh, the quantity of each item here, but there we are. You get all the different fists and the different hand positions and they gave us more than multiples for the robot's hands. And my goodness, look at that. Look at this. I love the V. And yes, because my last name is Villar, 
I'm partial to the V. <laughs> Look at that. Loads and loads of goodies put together and they don't shake. You know, if you shake them, they don't rattle inside and it doesn't, it doesn't shake at all and it doesn't, doesn't rattle inside. So batteries included, guys. Why? Why do we have batteries? Well, because this whole thing has some sound effects built into the bass. These are buttons and each number corresponds to an iconic uh, uh, sound effect that we all love to hear, we all love to sing, we all love to, to hum uh, along segment uh, sound effects or the theme song and you can hear that through the speaker that's right over here. Whew. That, that was really exciting. That's exciting to open. That's exciting to look at. I'm, I'm glad that I have it. It's a big box. Nicely built. Nicely put together. Um, I'm giving it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up on everything that I got. Um, 40 years of waiting and getting this and finally owning it um, is really worth the wait. Owning the latest piece is, is pretty exciting for me. Nice. This is our newest acquisition. You know, I'm a collector and I collect many things, but I'm happy with this. Thank you for sticking around, enjoying my unboxing with me. Um, I do hope that you guys can get the time, can get the uh, proper supplier for your Voltus 5. It's a celebration of youth. It's a celebration of our childhood. Um, you know, special shout out to my uh, playmates when I was young. I know you guys know what I feel. Uh, the new generation of Voltus 5 admirers, uh, welcome to the fold and, and welcome to the proper enjoyment of this robot, this robot culture. Uh, uh, thank you for sticking around with me. This is Louie. If you happen to stumble into the channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe. It's a multifaceted channel. You know, we talk about robots, talk about homesteading, we talk about keeping, collecting, everything. It's a good channel to be in, and I hope you learned something new, which is the mantra of our channel. So from my household, from my home, from Acorn Hill, this is Louis signing off, and we'll see you back soon for the next episode in the series of how we will uh, showcase Voltus 5 and the robot culture in the Philippines. So thank you for sticking around, and we'll see you back soon. Bye-bye for now.